you've got to get the weight forwards at impact. Now, in preparing this segment, I thought, well, what could I do? And I thought about putting a box by your left side, which is good. I've done that before. I thought about putting a shaft here. You could do that on the range. I've done that before. But what if you were on the golf course and the wheels have fallen off? Is there a drill you can do without using any what I would call equipment? Yes, there is. Here's what I would recommend you do to get the feeling of the weight being forwards at impact. To the side of the ball, set up. And then holding the club in one hand, just put all your weight on your front foot. For me, obviously, that's my left foot. Now I'm going to put my right foot, my trail foot, back on the ground, just tippy-toe, just tippy-toe. And then I'm going to hold on to the club. And now this is important. I've got to get my head behind the ball. But by golly, I can really feel pressure on that front foot there. And I could sort of rehearse a little bit of swing here. Yes, there's lots of weight on the front foot. And through I go there. So again, one more time so you've got that. I feel to find it on the golf course. Stand on one leg. Use the club to support your other side. Tippy toe. That's all. Wait for us, but don't forget this bit. Make sure you get this bit. Get the head behind the ball. Now, right here now is exactly the feel. That's my weight forwards, which really makes it very lightly. I'm going to be getting the ground either at or just in front of the ball. So let's see if I can hit one like that, trying to get my weight forwards. Head's going to stay steady. Weight's going to go forwards. This is all to get the... Bottom of the arc in the right place, in the correct place. Here we go. Not too bad. Not these fundamentals. I'm liking them.